Greetings, WordPressers. Sticky widgets. Do you need one on your website? In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how with a great little plug. Jackson here. Welcome to my channel where I share my tutorials and tricks and tips all about WordPress and if you like WordPress. If that is your vibe, then please do consider subscribing if you are new here. And down below you shall find the description that has all the show notes, links, and other information for all the stuff that we're gonna be talking about today, plus my very special ebook guide to my top 10 favorite plugins of all time. Why I use them, why I like them. Maybe it can help you in your WordPress life. Okay sticky widgets. If you've got a sidebar, it's more than likely you've got a few widgets in there. Say if that's like your blog, you've got latest posts or search box or categories, that sort of thing. Or maybe it's somewhere else in your website. Now, once you start scrolling, the widgets will disappear. With this great little plugin, I'm gonna show you how to create a sticky widget that will stay stuck to the sidebar no matter how far you scroll down the page. It's pretty wicked. So let's get on with this great tutorial for how to add a sticky widget to your WordPress website. All right, let's get a sticky widget on our website. We've got a demo site installed here. Let's go to the blog where we have got a little sidebar with some regular bloggy sidebar stuff on. We're going to... Uh, put another little widget in there and stick it to its position. Let's go to our WordPress admin and go to plugins, add new. And we're just gonna go grab the text for our widget. It's the wicked Q2W3 fixed widget. We're gonna copy that text and place it into our keyword search, hit return. And there it is, the only one on our list, pretty specific search that. We're gonna click the install now button. And once it's installed, we're gonna click the activate button. And so let's go over to the widget areas. That's on appearance and widgets. And nothing's really changed very much. But if you look at any of our widgets, here's our sidebar blog. That's the items that we see in our sidebar here. If you open up any widget, you'll see a new little setting and it's simply called fixed widget. And if you tick that, that widget will stay in position once you start scrolling down the page. Let's add a new widget to this sidebar. We're gonna go grab the calendar and stick that there. And we're gonna tick that fixed widget setting and we're gonna put in cal calendar, save that and have a look at our front end with a refresh. And here's our calendar. Now, will it stick? Oh, it does. It's sticking. Look, as we scroll down, it's staying in position. Super cool. But you may notice a little issue that we have, and that is that you can see that the text is getting cut off here. Now, very handily indeed, back on the WordPress admin, there is a new settings page for the Q2W3 fixed widget. So, if you take a look under the appearance menu, you'll see you've got fixed widget options. Click on that and you see you've got a, a few settings. And the one that we need to concern ourselves with is the one at the very top, margin top. If we just change that to something like 60px, so that'll allow a bit of room at the top above where the widget gets stuck to. Let's give our page a refresh on the front end and now when we scroll down we'll see that the calendar text is not cut off happy days so if we keep scrolling down that stays in the same place beautiful stuff but when we get to the bottom of our page you will notice another issue let's just scroll right to the bottom oops yeah you see it overlaps with this element this call to action, this uh, info box, if you like. So what we need to do is we need to tell the plugin where to stop sticking itself, if that makes any sense. And how we do that is on that same settings page under this setting called stop ID. Now, how do we find the stop ID? Now, this does require a little bit of investigation of the web page. And as much as I like to keep these tutorials super non-techy, this will require you looking at a little bit of code, but it's very simple. 
do not panic. So back to our front end. And if we just scroll down a bit and we use a right click button. Now, any browser, when you right click, will show a contextual menu and there'll be an item for inspecting the element. It might be called inspect element or it might just be called inspect. Whichever it is, choose the inspect menu item. I use the firebug add-on for Firefox. So I'm going to inspect with that particular item. And once it's clicked, you'll see that you get a view of the actual HTML that's inside the page. So this is where this is the item I clicked on. That's actually just above the item that I was aiming for. So let's go see if we can find the container. So if we keep scrolling up, you see wherever my mouse is, it starts highlighting the item that I'm clicking on. So if I keep clicking up, up, up until I get to this main full width item and that is called the above footer row and that's the ID that we are looking for to put into our settings. So all we need to do is just click on that, copy that ID tag and simply paste that straight into our stop ID setting. Click save changes. Go back to our front end and give that a refresh. Let's get rid of our inspector and so there's our sticky calendar and look you see it knows where the stop ID is and therefore doesn't crash into it when you scroll down further. I love this plugin. It works brilliantly and super easy to use. The Q2W3 Fixed Widget Plugin. It's a little beauty. Now do tell me what your preferences are when it comes to sticky fixed widgets with WordPress. I encourage you to leave some comments below. And if you are new here, please do consider subscribing to this wonderful WordPress channel. But until next time, I shall see you later.